go over it again. Well, well and I'm saying for everybody though too, just no, okay. maybe the picture again as well. Yeah, so you only get, you can only use this much cardboard, the piece of styrofoam you all have, um, the piece of, there's like transparent paper in there. It's like a clear sh plastic sheet. You can only use that. Um, one meter of duct tape total, uh, black Sharpie. So if you want to color things, you could do that. Um, that eight by eight clear plastic wrap, which is like probably from your kitchen, which is why we didn't include any. You're gonna have to go get some saran wrap from your kitchen. Um, and then the piece of bubble wrap and glue. So using just these materials, uh, you're gonna have to sort of try to mimic this or mimic a house that you think would work the best in in being the hottest. You want it to be the warmest, I think is the goal, is trapping the most heat. Does that make sense? So Mr. Whitfield, that maybe because it was over last week, um, go maybe go over that house again and why the sun is why that house is angled that way. Okay. Maybe again. That was something that you kind of went over last week, but I think it's a good thing to go over so the kids kind of know yeah, that. So I think I'm going to, in that video of last week, the video of our class last week, there we watched a video <laughs> um, where they talk about this. And if you all remember that like five minute video talking about solar energy, um, they mentioned thermal mass. Do you guys remember what thermal mass is? And I can't see you, so maybe just go ahead and share. I don't think anyone out of their head. So maybe explain it again. Okay, so thermal mass, um, just thinking about some objects we have in most everyday homes. Uh, most of you guys have probably some glass windows, right? And some bricks, so bricks are an excellent example of an object with a high thermal mass. So on a hot summer day, if you go up to a brick building and you put your hand on that brick building, um, is it hot or cold? On a hot summer day, middle of the day, put your hand on the brick and it feels warm, it feels hot because it's absorbing all that heat. It's absorbing that thermal energy so when you go put your hand on a piece of glass in the hot summer day, it's probably not as hot as the brick, or at least once the sun sets and then it like, like the, the brick will hold its heat into the night, but the glass will not. So glass has low thermal mass and denser objects have high thermal mass. So like just, it's, it's based on the density of the object. So wood, wood has a lower thermal mass than stone. And so based on the materials in your box, you have cardboard and styrofoam. Um, you have a Sharpie to color things black. Typically the color black absorbs more thermal energy than white, because if you all, I'm sure you've all experienced out in the middle of a summer day, wearing a black t-shirt is much hotter than wearing a white t-shirt. So the color has an impact on uh, thermal mass of energy absorption as well. So that's something to consider. Um, the, reason, the reason the window or this, the piece of glass, which has low thermal mass, because it, so it can pass through and it's not gonna absorb a bunch of heat um, the reason it's facing south is because the sun, the, the angle of the light comes in from the south. If it was, if you put a piece of glass over here, which people do, um, on the north side, it's not going to get as much sunlight coming through to absorb uh, energy from the sun. So like this thermal mass floor, high thermal mass floor would not be as productive for your, your home heating. So. which I think is cool because yeah. like guys, the floor soaks up the energy. So could you, Matt, you're walking on what's soaking up the energy. Yeah. 
it's i mean even like today you know if you have a if you have a sunroom how many of you guys have sunrooms in your house or like you go well i mean or like a, a piece of floor next to the window everyone has floor next to their window right like you know it's like the sunlight comes in and that that spot that's hitting the sun is warmer so if the spot that's hitting the sun is warmer why not put a piece of material there that has a high thermal mass so it can absorb that energy and then hold it into the night and keep your house warm so that's why a lot of um a lot of homes especially in like the southwest um you know like you know southern colorado or new mexico arizona they have a lot of glass on the south side like very similar to this house because it they don't really need a heater in their house they just use the solar energy that's coming in all year round um, and stone floors tile floors or ceramic tile and it just heats their house so maybe right now it'd be a good idea to talk about some examples from your materials list uh, we could play a game of high to low thermal mass. So what do you guys think? Let's start with the clear transparency paper. Does that have a high or a low thermal mass? Low. I got a chat. I got some chats here. Grace says low, Drake says low, Genevieve says low. Yeah, so just like your window, um, energy is gonna, or thermal energy is gonna pass right through that and it's not gonna soak up a whole bunch of that heat energy. Um, it's just gonna be something that allows light to pass through it, which is potentially useful in a designing a home, um, but it's not gonna absorb much energy. So you don't want that to be the base of your building probably that might be a good window um what about what do you think you could do with the the sharpie how could the sharpie help your design you could color the cardboard black so it absorbs more heat that's perfect so grace why did you mention the cardboard because the cardboard's thicker, so it's going to have a higher thermal, because it's more dense, it was going to take in more heat than it would if it was like the saran wrap. And then a black Sharpie, because it's black, it's going to absorb more heat. Yeah, so the, to get most heat the, you can. Exactly. The Sharpie is going to add to any of these materials' ability to increase their thermal mass. So I think the cardboard is probably going to be your one of your items that has the highest thermal mass. Like styrofoam, it's it's mostly air. I don't think that that would have a very good thermal mass, but maybe it does. So that's part of this experiment is testing out, you know, which one of these materials has a better thermal mass and how can I design a house using these things and my Sharpie uh, to create that combination. So nice job, Grace. Uh, what about the 